Hey kids, you look like you're new to the tech center. Gee, we sure are, mister. I'll bet you'd like to learn the rules here. Jeepers, would we? Let's start with attendance. You're here already, so you've got that down. Now make sure I see you every day because you can't have more than five excused absences per trimester. But remember that your parents or guardians may excuse your absence by calling the LISD attendance office. Now here's a few more rules on attendance. I'll take it from here. Remember, the leaving class without an instructor's permission is considered an unexcused absence. Now, three of these tardies equal one absence. Whoa, sport! You need to check with your instructor and the attendance office to leave campus early. <coughs> Whoa, Whoa, how, how did we get, get here? here? Well, kids, you see that fancy car? Let's say you wanted to drive here yourself. Gee, my dad has a swell hot rod. I bet Sue's would be impressed. Yep, you can get a driving permit signed by your local principal and parent or guardian. Golly, how much would that cost me? Well, Johnny, one dollar. A whole dollar? I'm right with you. Hold on, kids. You will need the same permission as your permit, but you'll need permission from your passenger's parent or guardian, too. Let's race. Uh, uh, uh. Driving violations or repeated tardiness may result in losing driving privileges. Gee whiz, we'd better be careful. That's right, kids. Now let's go back inside and meet Mrs. Tomlin. You boys had better not misbehave. If you do misbehave, I'm going to send you right over there to the principal's office for a stern talking to. And then I'm going to call your parent or your guardian and your local school principal. <gasps> and another thing. I don't want to see you dilly-dallying around in the hallway. I want you right off the bus and into your classroom. You got it? Yes, ma'am. All right, then. Oh, my, my, my. Come on over here. This is not to be tolerated. You can just lift that arm off from her, and we need an appropriate distance at all times. And you should know better. Food and beverages are not allowed in the building. Well, golly, what can I bring? A bottle of colorless water. <gasps> and one last thing. Sexual harassment will not be tolerated, nor will bullying. If you feel that you are a target, you need to report it to an adult immediately. Thanks, Thanks Ms. Tomlin. Safety first. Be sure to wear safety gear and clothing when it is required. Okay. Stop right there, Missy. Be sure your appearance is appropriate for future employment. If it's not, you will be required to change. Uh, stop right there. Hats, hoodies, and bandanas are not permitted to be worn in the hallway. Way, Way to go, go Mrs. T. That's right, kids. Dressing for success can mean the difference in getting a good job. Well, look there, kids. It's Mr. Tobar. I think he has some important information for your safety. That's right. We are looking out for your safety and our staff. So at times, we may need to search you. Your lockers. But only when appropriate in the student handbook. Far out, Mr. T. <laughs> We're not trying to rattle your cage. We are just trying to keep you safe. So at times, you may need to follow your teachers through emergency procedures. Does that mean we check the emergency plan by the door? Exactly! Now that's not everything, kids. I'll let Chelsea clue you in on what to do with those high-tech gadgets you're sporting. You know it. Now, kids, let's make sure that we use the tech center resources for school only. Those cell phones, tablets, all that jazz needs to be put away and only taken out in your classroom with your teacher's permission. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh, she took your phone, told you not to have it out. Watch it, Missy, or I'll have your snack. Whoa, she's not fooling, kids. We've got one more stop, so let's go see Mrs. Jusick. She'll clue you in. I'm 
students, do you see this? You can be on the Wall of Fame too with a Student Excellence Award. Groovy, how do we do it? Well, if you get some souped up job skills and wicked work habits, you could be up here too. Gee, Miss Jessica, that's the bee's knees. Well, there you go, kids. Now you know what you need to do. Think you're ready for the Wall of Fame? You bet! Right on! If you want to know anything else, there's always that handbook you and your old folks can page through. Now go get them, and good luck at the LISD Tech Center. Hang on just a minute there, kids. I know you're hip to the new tech, so here's how you get to see your report card on Home Access. Jump online to your homeschool site, or just go straight to Home Access using the URL at the bottom of the screen. Now make sure you choose Lenaway ISD for your district and put in your username and password, the same ones that you were given by your local school district. Now once you've done that, you can access your Tech Center grades through the site. If you want to see your local school district grades, you'll have to log back into your local school district. Our teachers update your work habits, daily work, and test grades each Friday, so be sure to check at least once a week. You can also see where you stand on attendance. Okay, I think that's everything. Remember, your future is why we're here. Now go get them, Tiger!